What's going on guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you guys tuned in last week or not, but if not, I'll link it right here so you guys can click on it. But I wired all my gauges and I installed the triple gauges inside the dash. So now they're all wired, they start up, they look very, very nice. But yeah, so today we got something kind of different, but this is something that I think everybody should have for a safety purpose of your own car and for your own safety as well as others. So you might ask yourself, all right, what do you have? Well, I got a car rear view camera. And as well, I recommend this for everyone. Everyone who drives should have one of these. I got a Rove dash cam C1. You don't have to buy this specific one. This is what I like that I wanted to buy. But I just think everybody, whoever drives it's just safe for you to have a dash cam for your own safety in order if every anything happens and who knows you might catch some cool stuff sometime so first what it looks like is this is the rear dash cam so this is the camera the camera catches it but this is the camera this essentially just bolts up to your license plate it comes with a simple wire and then as well it comes with this which goes behind your head unit and the power and ground wire as well as the reverse wire that you're going to need to tap into if you want it to turn on and it goes reverse for the dash cam this is the dash cam i wanted something slick you know and something nice and essentially how this works is these are the tabs that they come with and this goes like this onto it and it slides right in and this sits flush against the windshield like that. Comes with a dual port car charger. One of them supports this, the other one charges phone or accessory. It comes with long wire so you're able to tuck it into your plastics in the cabin so it looks nice. Also comes with a very nice instruction manual and everything you need. That's very nice, all this stuff is nice. But now let's get to installing it. First what you're gonna need to do if you haven't already, you're gonna need to take all the like the head unit and then from there we're gonna run the wires through the side and then run it all the way to the back to through the trunk which will be like right around there we'll come through here and then we'll have to pass it through the bumper so the camera can sit right here so now i'm gonna take the head unit out So on what I found on the internet, my head unit, which is the Pioneer AVH595BT, it says on this diagram that number 5 RCN, which on that diagram you see where the 5 is pointed, that's where you're going to have to insert it. I'm sure on, other, on any other head unit too, as long as it says RCN, rear camera in, you just plug it into that. So now that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's continue this where we left it off. So now what I'm gonna do is, since I do have to bring the wires through the bumper into the grommet, into the trunk, I'm gonna have to remove the rear bumper. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to remove these tabs just like that and then you could remove these bolts. There's one also inside. First remove the headlights, then go ahead and remove the bumper. All right, now that the back is off, we don't need to take the bumper fully off just because we just need to run the wire through. See, this is the back of the car. So over where this light is, we're gonna go through this grommet. The razor, we're gonna make an incision through it and we're gonna run that wire from over here to all the way here. And then we're also gonna install the camera right here. We're gonna run the wire through this hole out here and be able to tuck it through here. have the passenger side rear tail, tail light for the 370Z and we're gonna figure out the wiring diagram for it for the wiring scheme so we could tap into the reverse light in the front this is for brake this is for turn signals and hazards this is the the reverse light so we need to look for this wire obviously the black is the ground green is the reverse light it's green and white in this there is two wires there's a green and yellow and green and white we're looking for the green and white which goes into the top middle port so now we're gonna go check on the harness on the car and see what the top middle port is pretty much to explain i'm gonna take this red and black and i'm going to tap into the brown which is the reverse wire and the black which is the ground wire that way the camera is functioning and i'm going to solder this you don't want to tape this or anything you want to solder it you 
you guys just saw that was the final product with it installed and everything works guys this thing is looking nice so now let's get to the dash cam all right so the rov dash cam c1 edition which has the sony sensor built-in wi-fi but we're gonna go ahead and run the wire so we're gonna plug in this plug in the wire and run it through the ceiling This is where I put the dash cam right now, but I've been thinking about maybe moving it and possibly I'm just using duct tape guys. Let's see. I'll probably put it right there. Right there. That would probably be best right there. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Well, for finally done. So that was pretty simple, simple, easy install, guys. Like I said, this video wasn't, it's not always about performance or stuff like that. These are just like little things, you know. And like I said, I think everybody should have these two things on their car. Personal opinion for me, but maybe you guys think differently. And if you do, please comment down below. Tell me how you guys feel about this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This stuff wasn't really that expensive. I think this in total, the camera was 35 and the rear camera was 19 so 55 dollars for both of these items and i had an sd card but probably with the sd card like you're still talking about like 65 70 dollars for both of these items is not a bad price guys it's not a bad price and it's always nice to be safe be able to see where you're going as well as always be recording what's going on so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up guys if you enjoyed and if you did and you want to dislike the video that's totally fine as well it helps me see what i build and what i make if you guys like it or not or like what i can do differently and like i said if you guys want to see anything differently or want to let me know something or maybe i made a mistake and said something wrong please comment down below guys activity in the comments is the best best thing i could ask for but thank you again guys for watching this video and i really appreciate all you guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i'll also put that in my channel right here but also you can hit that subscribe button or in the description you could go and there'll be a link to my channel follow me on social media all the links will be in my description and that's it for tonight guys and i hope you guys have a great day night morning wherever you are wherever you're watching this and see you in the next episode